Good day, my dear STEM students. For today, we'll be discussing all about writing chemical formula. So, in today's objectives, so in our lesson, you should be able to write the formula given the name of the compound, both in binary and ternary compounds. Okay, so what you need is your modern periodic table and the list of monoatomic and polyatomic ions. So, don't worry if you have your periodic table, you will also have this list of monoatomic and polyatomic iron at the back part of your periodic table. Okay. So, what you need to remember in writing chemical formula. Okay. I have here a portion of your periodic table. Okay. We have here the cation and the anion. The cation is the positive ion while the anion is the negative ion. So, Based on the position of the elements in the periodic table, I have already discussed to you this part. Okay, so if the, the elements belonging to the right side of this ladder, those are the nonmetals. So therefore, the nonmetals are the anions or the uh, elements that has this negative charge. While dito sa left side ng inyong uh, modern periodic table, uh, all these elements are the metallic ions. So, the metallic ions always bears the positive charge or the positive ions. Okay. So, in this uh, particular list or data table of the common polyatomic ions, I have here sulfate, sulfite. So, you are all familiar with this part. So, these are the symbols. Kapag cation, monoatomic ion, isa lang yung kanyang symbol. While pag polyatomic ion, it is more than one. Okay, pag ions, may charge. Okay, so in our first rule, the symbol of the non-metallic ion is written first, followed by the symbol of the non-metallic ion. So, uh, you have to assign charges or oxidation number of the constituent elements of the given compound. Okay, for example, we have magnesium chloride. So, tingnan natin yung periodic table natin. The symbol for magnesium ion is Mg positive 2. Positive 2 because it belongs to group 2A. So, if uh, the ruling in the A family, kung ano yung group niya, yun yung charge niya ng metal. So, positive 1 kapag group 1A, positive 2 kapag group 2A, and then this is the B family, this is the continuation of the A family. So, kapag 3A, that is positive 3, Pagating sa 4, that is positive or negative 4. And then negative 3, kasi anayon na to, nonmetal. Negative 3, negative 2, and then negative 1, and then 0 on group A. So in magnesium, the symbol for magnesium ion is Mg, group 2, positive 2. While chloride is chlorine. Chlorine is located in this in group 7A. Okay, so chlorine 7A is negative 1. So, the charge of chlorine is negative 1. Okay, the oxidation number of the metallic ion will become the subscript of the nonmetal and vice versa. You call this the crisscross method. Okay, so the oxidation number of the metal will become the subscript of the nonmetal and vice versa. And then take note, if the subscript of the particular uh, atom is one, one is no longer written. It is understood that kung walang subscript, that is one. Okay. Kapag nasa taas siya, we call that oxidation number. Pero once na binabani na siya, it will become the number of atoms. And then take note, uh, if you, the oxidation number will become the subscript of both the metallic and non-metallic ion, the charges are dropped. Hindi nakasama ang charge. Hindi na siya sinusulat. Sinusulit lang ang charge if they are representing a particular monoatomic or polyatomic ion. Pero pag ginawa niyo na siyang subscript, hindi na siya ion, hindi na, wala na siyang charge. So, it will become the number of atoms of that particular element. So, we are going to interpret this MgCl2. For every one molecule of magnesium, there is one atom of magnesium and two atoms of chlorine. So, the subscript will become the number of atoms of that particular element. Okay, number two rule. If the oxidation number 
of both the metallic and the non-metallic ions are the same, these are cancelled out. So in this particular example, we have magnesium positive 2 and oxygen is negative 2 because it belongs to 6A. All elements belonging to 6A, the charge is negative 2. So as you can see, parawa lang siyang may 2. So these are cancelled out and then pagdidikitin mo na lang yung dalawang chemical formula. So the final formula will be MgO. Okay. Next example, so the, this rule is also applied in ternary compounds. Okay, so if you have magnesium sulfate, so magnesium is positive 2, and then sulfate is SO4, negative 2. So, cancel ulit, and then pag didikitin nyo lang yan, MgSO4. So, that is the uh, formula for magnesium sulfate. Okay, so next rule. So, if uh, the ternary ionic compound, if the subscript of the radical, you call this the radical or the polyatomic ion will be greater than 1, the radical is enclosed inside the parentheses. If the subscript will be greater than 1. Okay? So, and then take note, only the polyatomic ion in, uh, is enclosed inside the parentheses if it has a greater than 1 subscript not the monoatomic ion. Example, for, for calcium nitrate, the symbol for calcium is positive 2, and then a nitrate is NO3, negative 1. So, crisscross pa rin. Same rule, use the crisscross method. So, that's calcium. 1 is no longer written. But in nitrate, so as you can see, nitrate in this example will have a greater than one subscript okay so if the subscript of the polyatomic ion will be greater than one the polyatomic ion is enclosed inside the parentheses and the subscript is written outside the parentheses okay so that is the formula for calcium nitrate ca no3 parentheses 2 okay other example calcium phosphate Okay, so the symbol for calcium ion is Ca positive 2, phosphate is PO4, negative 3. And then crisscross, calcium is 3. So as you can see, kahit greater than 1 ang subscript ng calcium, hindi siya nilagay sa parentheses kasi only the polyatomic ion is enclosed inside the parentheses. Okay, not the monoatomic. Okay. All subscript must be in the reduced form on both binary and ternary inorganic compounds. So, kailangan ang mga subscript need reduced. So, para siya maging ano, uh, empirical formula. Okay? So, note for every chemical formula, only the subscript of the number of atoms are reduced or the number of atoms are reduced and not the subscript of the polyatomic ion. Example, calcium silicate. So, calcium ion is positive 2 and then silicate ion is SiO4, negative 4. Okay, so if you crisscross the two oxidation numbers, so calcium will have a uh, 4 number of atoms and then silicate, so we'll have 2. Okay, so as you notice, both 4 and 2, 4 and 2 are both divisible by 2. So, it is reduced nyo yan. Okay, the final formula will be Ca2SiO4. Take note, ang reduce natin is the subscript, yung binaba ninyo, hindi yung subscript ng polyatomic ion. Okay, next, lead 4 oxide. So, Pb positive 4 and O2 negative 2. Okay, so press cross. As you can see, 2 and 4 are both divisible by 2. And then reduce that. The final formula will be PbO2. Okay? So if you have any question, just leave your comment below. And don't forget to subscribe in our YouTube channel. Thank you.